Hi, I'm Marna, and this is day three of the Monster High Challenge I put out, Halloween Challenge, and that was for the doll community to upload a video or a video every day or a few of anything Monster High to flood YouTube with Monster High videos the week of Halloween, that is the 25th through the 31st. So this is day three, and my 28 inch Monster High girl needs um, a um, Halloween outfit. And while I like her outfit, and I'm thrilled that she came with one, because usually when you buy dolls used, you don't always get their clothes or their shoes. She came with shoes and I am not removing them because that strap around the ankle is very tight and if it breaks, well, that's how you lose shoes. Anyway, she's ready to go. She's drinking her potion, which she is sharing with the BJD and she is here for a reason. And that reason is these two dolls can share clothes and she's wearing a pleated skirt that this doll really liked, but she didn't want to share it. So what we're going to do is make her a pleated skirt. I also wanted to show you, in a, a previous video, I made these. These are uh, stretch knit dresses that I took a dinner plate and drew around, and then we cut armholes in. Now this one was for the 18-inch American Girl or any of your 18-inch dolls. It's not a bad fit. You would need a um, ribbon for around the waist, but that's not what she's wearing today. However, she is wearing, under, with the skirt, she's going to wear the 18-inch doll black t-shirt. I have this cute bat fabric, and um, I, I took a piece when I made the first outfit, the first uh, pleated skirt. I did sew that one by hand. And I want to show you something if you're showing if you're sewing by hand. The piece of fabric you need is 7 by 17 or thereabouts and the belt will be six and a half inches. And I cut that out of um, uh, bias tape. What is it? Six and a half inches. And then we'll need a little piece of Velcro. <clears throat> when you take your pleated skirt, this is how I did it. You can do it any way you want. This is so easy. First thing I did was I took a seam down at the bottom. That's not really even, but it's Halloween. We're going to let it go. We'll take a stitch tuck this under so you have a clean hemline. This one I did not. I liked the snake skin. It's Halloween. I wanted that to fray. I don't know. I'm silly like that. I think it's cute. One side of this is the selvage end. You won't do anything to it. And don't do anything to this side yet. If you're sewing this by hand, open up your bias tape make your pleats i do it by hand and i just kind of well you know me i eyeball everything and for this pleated skirt we're going to tuck all the way across about a i don't know quarter inch pleats now you can do this and pin it or you can do this as you go along i do it as i go along when I did this by hand, I took my pleated skirt and I sewed to one side, the back side, and I pleated it as I went. When I finished that, I folded, when I got to the far end, leaving my uh, needle and thread on there, I folded the top part and then I ran a stitch up under the top so that you could not see it. Now, on the sewing machine, what we're going to do is sew it down between. Okay, when you are running your pleats, make sure you're complete, you're, that your pleat is straight up and down, not cockeyed, because if it's cockeyed, 
When you sew it, it will be cockeyed as it hangs on the doll. When you get to the middle of your skirt, now for this skirt, I want all of the pleats going the same way. If you were doing a pleated skirt and you wanted that, that um, Scottish look or that school, that Catholic school girl pleated skirt, you would change the directions in the middle of your pleats. In other words, instead of folding this way, you would begin folding the opposite direction so that in the middle there was a divide and the, pleat, the pleats went off in different directions. When you get to the end, do you push your pleats. I call it pushing your pleats forward. And that is you want the end of your fabric flush with the end of your bias tape without a pleat there. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing this pleat forward, measuring out my end piece. And then I'm going to sew that down. And end that there. And then what we want to do, this is your selvage end. We won't do anything on that side. But on this side, we are going to take this under just a pinch, but we're only going to take it down less than halfway. All right, I have this tucked. I have the soft side of the Velcro that I'm going to be adding to the top for the closure as I sew that very carefully. And you always want to add at the top of your Velcro. I, I really nail things. Boy, that's really got a hold of that big needle. I've got to change my needle out. You want to put a lock down on your Velcro. Make a little knot stitch so that your Velcro doesn't pull free. And then at the end, you want to knot stitch again. So the top and the bottom of your Velcro will have a uh, back and forth, which is called your knot. This is what you've got. You've got your turned over finished edge. You have your Velcro soft side sewn down. And the reason you do the so soft side down is because you don't want the hard side scratching your doll's plastic. At this point with insides or the outside or the pretty side or whatever we're calling it this day together, we are going to, from where that doll, uh, that little edge is, we're going to finish that so that your skirt is sewn together and yet there's room to get that over your doll's hips. Sew so your hard side of Velcro to the right side of your fabric. That's the pretty side, the side that you want people to see. And then turn your skirt inside out. So if you're 28 inch or any size doll, you can make these little pleated skirts for any size doll, depending on your talent. I don't know that I can make it for, you know. But um, if you're a doll, needs an outfit or just a change of an outfit or something more holiday themed, it's a little something you can do. I bought this uh, pumpkin pin, adds a little bit to the black. Um, I think I got those on eBay a while back. That was back when they were less than a dollar delivered. Now I think they're about a dollar and a half. If you need them for Christmas, order now. So she's back to drinking her potion, and uh, this is a hidden giveaway. And guess what we're giving today? These cups, or mugs rather, I love them. These mugs are a good size for several dolls, including your 28 inch dolls or your 18 inch dolls. And it's not too bad for her friend over here who doesn't know what's in that potion. Um, and we are giving a set of two to a subscriber that leaves a comment and a like on this video. You must be a subscriber. Thank you. Happy Halloween.